Well, as a child, I knew I wanted to be a teacher and have my own business. And so I became a teacher right out of college at Fresno State and have taught 27 years. But this has always been brewing in the back of my mind that's Okay, I'm getting older and older and older, and, and the idea of a candy and toy shop was just so fun to me. And more importantly, a place where people could come and feel welcomed and um, kind of a nostalgic feel and a chance to slow down. And I wanted the feeling of a simpler time, a slower time where you could just sit and have a cup of coffee and chat and visit like they are. And um, <laughs> good. And just. Uh, just not be in a hurry, not be in a rush. Have you ever been into a candy store where everybody, where people were unhappy? <laughs> That's why. <laughs> people <laughs> love candy and chocolates and toys. And <laughs> she didn't say we have slowed down <laughs> because I've, I, I feel like I'm busier now than ever before. Yeah, he, he says I've never worked so hard in my life. And I just, I re, we retired the exact same day, and I retired from a 40-year career in, as an egg sales manager regional manager I covered the western United States oh, gee. so and I really I'm a bit more busy now than ever before the thrill of seeing the faces when people walk through the door is is everything and the children being excited and saying oh mommy look you look at this and wanting to hold the little stuffed animal or the stick horse and just the joy that it brings and the smiles it, it's not a dentist office or it's, it's just a fun fun place to be and people love feeling welcomed and yeah. I worked long hours as activities director, so this is not foreign to me, but Mike, this is new to him, and he's getting, he's getting used to it. <laughs> and my whole thing is, is that I really want to, because of our careers and what we've had, is that we've been apart. So I'd wake up Monday morning, go catch a flight to somewhere, and, and then come back Thursday, and, uh, and I did that three days a week for the last many, many years. And this is our first opportunity to work together, and I just want to really come alongside mm -hmm. of her and help support her in this as well. Mm -hmm. Plus, this is my chance to get to see her after <laughs> being apart for <laughs> for a long time. Yeah, so. it, w it was a God thing. Shelley had not God had not released her from teaching yet. It had nothing to do with finances or anything. It just no, that just, it was. I just I I could never feel at peace. I felt it was a real minister ministry for me at the high school as a leadership teacher mm -hmm. and student council advisor to create the culture of the high school there. And after we had restored it, we rented it out to a dance studio for a couple years. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it be, uh, and then they closed down and um, became a gaming place where people would come in and play these big European board games for a while. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, it wasn't ours, yeah. we rented it. And they did good for a while, but they were kind of on the tail end of the fad. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they moved out the end of December and we said, what are you, are you ready now? you know and and she was and so I had stepped down from activities and leadership in 2014 mm -hmm. and and was able to stay two more years to help with the transition so in that two years I was able to start weaning off <laughs> of my high and uh, and so your final day there was the end of last school year uh -huh, May, yeah, May okay. 31st that May was, we both retired the same day yeah. Mike, Mike came to the school and walked through the gate with me as I turned in my keys. <laughs> well, one of the fun parts of dreaming for nine years is wrestling with a name. And we've had so many names from thinking of just for fun to um, sweet memories. Uh, just so many names. My daughter thought we should call it the purple cow, something very different. Even one was the three-legged stove because if you look on our antique stove, it actually only has three legs. And we thought that would be a conversation piece. But it's still, I just wrestled. I wasn't at peace with any of those. There's gotta be a better name that just... So one night, about two years ago, I woke up in the middle of the night with this sweet destination. It just startled me and woke me up. Sweet destination. And I couldn't stop the ideas from just pouring. I just stayed up. It was like two in the morning. I couldn't go to sleep. So I started typing everything that was just coming into my mind about destination and making Reedley a destination and this store a destination. Because it is something unusual. It's very, it's a beautiful store. In the last few days as I've just been listening to customers, I've been talking and visiting with one another. I've heard over and over again that this is something you'd see at the coast. One person said, oh my gosh, I would expect to see this in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And so 
it is a destination, and most people think, oh, Radley's not a destination, but we want people to go out of their way, or if they're just across the street, to walk over and feel there's someplace very special and very magical. Absolutely, absolutely. It's been even better than my wildest dreams, and just look forward to every single morning when I get up at 5 o'clock to be here at 7 to greet our first customer.